Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Boraki here, and welcome to Company of Heroes 3. That's right, Company of Heroes 3 dropped earlier this week. And it's come with uh, a, a lot of cool stuff, some bugs here and there, which is to be expected on a, uh, the first week release so if you don't know what company heroes is it's a uh, real-time strategy game where you build up uh, it's set in world war ii but the different games are set in different times of the war like company heroes one is set in the uh, like right around D-Day. Company Heroes 2 is set uh, after D-Day and there's DLC that you can do uh, to go to the Battle of the Bulge. But for Company Heroes 3 the game takes place in the Italian or the Mediterranean campaign. And sadly there's no co-op campaign yet. It might happen with a mod, or it might happen with uh, the developers adhering to fans. But most likely, yeah. a mod. So, what's new in Company Heroes 3 is its single player campaign. Um, so, we got a slight taste of it back in Company Heroes 2. When we were doing our damage assault. And in that, you can tell, or you can uh, send you guys to come into different portions of area, the Ardennes Forest, and attack different areas. In this one, it's got a uh, Total War style overview map, like a campaign map, where you have your forces, so like in Total War, uh, you have your armies in different portions of the map, you can turns, and attack different areas of the map. It's a lot like uh, that. So Company Heroes 3 takes place uh, with well, the first uh, mission tutorial. And then it takes you to Sicily giving you more of a tutorial on how to play the game units do and how to operate the uh, campaign map so uh, you have to take an account uh, your uh, manpower your gas your fuel and your ammo just like in the regular game. You can hire, or you can uh, request different uh, armies, or different companies. Um, so far, I've only been able to get the UK uh, artillery, and I think there's another one, like a commando, or regular British army. Then you've got, uh, on the U.S. side, you've got U.S. Special Forces, uh, U.S. Airborne, and then an armored division that you can get, along with uh, offshore artillery, which is in the K-47 
case of uh, destroyers or battleships. Battleships let you request Request new companies, and you can land them wherever you want, which is kind of cool. So if you have, if you move your battleship up the coast of Italy into enemy occupied territory, you can have an invasion at that area that you choose. You can also airdrop. Uh, units if you capture an airfield um, not all uh, attacks have a skirmish mode attached to them it's only with uh, mission objectives and uh, attacking different armies. You can also auto-resolve army like head-on uh, say you're attacking with an airborne company going up against a mechanized company. You can play that as a skirmish. You can also auto-resolve. But yeah, enough of that. I'll just actually show you. So we'll start a new one. I'll show you what the first mission is like. Here we go. So since I've already played the um, tutorial mission, it's just you in the uh, taking control of some British forces, retaking an airfield. It'll show you how to. Tell you guys to do certain object, uh, certain things, how the game works, stuff like that. And then we go into Sicily, where it shows you uh, different other aspects of the uh, game of like. Destroying objective or destroying emplacements with uh, satchel charges, uh, taking cover, uh, breaching occupied buildings, let you take control of uh, offshore artillery. Stuff like that. So. Dear Maggie, it's been a while, I know. Sorry, I've never been as good with words as you. I just finished up five months in North Africa. Didn't see a single German all the while I was there. We were training mostly, lots of marching up and down, cleaning boots, and getting yelled at. Reminded me of Fort Riley. No one knew where we were going to end up, of course, just that we needed to be ready. One of the Brits, Roy, got me some chocolate, we'd be heading to Italy. General Buckram arrived a couple weeks back. Seems like a decent guy. Very confident, I guess you'd call it. Arrogant. He doesn't like the Brit General Norton, though. They're like oil and water. Buckram's mood got worse every time he talked to him. And we bore the brunt of it. Nearly wore my fingers to the bone cleaning my damn rifle. Roy got his chocolate a couple weeks back. We're off to Sicily. I was glad to be away from the heat. Not so glad to be wandering around the Mediterranean hoping the German subs wouldn't find us. We all breathed a sigh of relief when they announced we were finally headed to dry land. Captain McKay's here. Gives me some confidence that at least one person knows what he's doing. Well, I guess it's nearly time to leave, so I'd better go find somewhere to sit. I'll try to write more, if I can. Love always, Joe. Move, move, move! All right, 
We've got to clear this beach before the rest of the troops can come ashore. We've got support on our flanks, but we need to take out those guns or they'll tear our ships apart. Godspeed, men! Defenses are tougher than they look. God damn it, rifles ship those asses! Ugh! I'm hit, man! Hey, Make a decision! that was added to COH3 where you take one of your units and you can give them uh, orders while you're paused and then I'll, uh, they will do those orders as best they can so I can say right here Here, toss a frag there, and then move up to there, and I can say, yeah guys, you move up to here, there it is, guys, and then you unpause. Get out! Let him up, fellas! 
Right, men. Now the beach is secure, and we have a headquarters. We need to push up into the town. The Crowd forces say. are going to be dug in deep, so mm. expect heavy resistance. The town square is the key. We capture that, and Jell is ours. Airborne troops are on the way. Things will get a bit easier when they get here. Try to stay in one piece until they arrive. The locals are doing what they can to fight back. Your main goal is the town square. All right. Good luck, men. Right. We've got a base of operations set up on the beach, but we still need to take the town and clear out the enemy forces. I know for some of you, this is your first time under fire. Just remember why we're here, and you'll do fine. Alright, now we've got a medical station, which will reinforce our... Uh, now the beach is secure, and, we've been able to bring in some new equipment. Uh, time to put it to good use. Guys fall back to that area. So we wait for the Zuka squad to come out. Bazooka Squad reporting in. Anti tank squad on the field. All right. We're locked and loaded. Keep that formation Stop. tight. Yep. Let's get it done, boys. Come on, we ain't got all day. We got the word. CEO felt we needed something to do. We're up, boy. Make it happen, fellas. Them, which increases the squad's rate of fire and allows the squad to deal suppression damage or unlock sprint increases squad speed I'd like that one. I can put this you men get ready right on here. engineers standing by and then up from here. you heard the man get up. your gear ready and move out Howard grab that engine, engine for us we're moving Also, well, look what the cat caught up. Can Wham! Also, no use your. Order just came through. Keep those bazookas on the wing. Let's go. Let's advance. Run up the your... men. Let's get to it. Give us some German on point. We'll keep your distance. Fight! They're calling us in, fellas. Best time's over. Let's move out. What do you think? Oh, snap! Oh, we're there! Charmin, run! We're up, boys! It's time! Keep up your pace and fire! Run! Keep on that new target! These bazookas need targets, damn it! Don't tell it, boys! Into the building! Go! Engineers, get moving!
right. That's the aid post constructed. Say the word, sir. We can reinforce and heal from there now. That should make our advance a little Bazooka easier. Team. Bazooka team! Pick up the pace! Get on it, fellas! Get that gear squared away. Come on. Um, I will tell you. Well, look what the cat coughed up. Oh, on our way, face. sir. Come on, let's get this show on the road. Uh, look, I sure could use a hot shower. Breakfast. Ready for deployment, sir. Get on it, Ready fellas. for deployment, sir. Jesus H. Christ! All right, men, stand by. Throw it now! Jump to it, boys! If I go down, I'll take that. Oh, God damn it! Why? I got the last one! Damn it! Someone get us out of here! Open fire! The whole is squad! Concentrate! Come on! Move Crap's your got asses! Man down! Take that damn ground! That did him! They're all gunned down! Relay order! See, low? Get it done! So much for peace and quiet! God damn it! Rifles ship those asses! Crabs are taking it personally! You know the drill, soldiers! That's a go! Get started! Let's go! Move complete, target secured! Alright, left flank is secured. I was gonna get to the. They pronounce it. Uh, Jella. I don't know how it's actually pronounced. So. Uh, they pronounce it. We got the word, gentlemen. Alright, alright, come on! Quit behind. Our airborne troops were blown off course and they've landed nearby. Let's go find them before the crowds do. We're locked and loaded. Alright, by the book, let's fall back. Hey, we got offshore artillery. Heads up, men. The crowds have got an anti-tank gun and a heavy machine gun defending the road ahead. I know, I know, I know! Crew under strength! Rifles nice. reinforced. Let's roll, man. All right, boys. Advance. Stay alert. Sight. Under fire. Small arms. Let's go, boys. Leave him. Keep it together. Move, move, move. Corporal. <laughs> Engineers we taking losses here! Fun. You're welcome. Now let's go find those krauts. Taking fire from down there! Even you can make it down! Get on with it! Uh, Engineers, get Go back! Break on 
riflemen are ready. Now we have access to airborne. Skies are clear. Head to target. I see nothing but shoots behind me. Transport heading home. Mission should be a problem. Here it's all right. Follow my lead. Order those dogs need some exercise. Get going. Marching is why I joined the damn air force. Enemy HMG up ahead. Complain 
Take Sicily, but it's a good start. Well done. Sicily's ours. How about that? That is what the campaign over overview map over map whatever we call it the campaign map will look like units will be represented like that you have British and Americans you also have aircraft and uh, ships we did it we finally took Sicily. Roy said it took 38 days. I'm not counting. I'm just grateful for the break. We lost a lot of good men. And if that wasn't enough, it looks like half the damn German army got away. They'll all be waiting for us on the mainland, no doubt. 
Although McKay says the Italians have had enough and surrendered. Some of them have even started trying to fight against the Germans. Not sure how effective they'll be. We'll see, I guess. We got word yesterday that the theater commander got kicked back to the U.S. and they're sending someone new. He's gonna have his work cut out for him, that's for sure. Are you? Buckram and Norton have been at each other's throats since we landed at Jayla. Roy's been taking bets on who's gonna get punched first. My money's on Norton. He's too arrogant to get us to Rome, if you ask me. Not that anyone does. McKay's got us prepping for the main op. He's still a hard ass, but if anyone can get us through this, it's him. The landing's supposed to be a tactical surprise, but everyone knows where we're headed. The Germans do too, I'd bet. Either way, that new commander's got us spread pretty thin. I hope he knows what he's doing. Welcome to Italy, Commander. Unfortunately, our British allies have allowed the Krauts to retreat to the mainland. Uh -huh. I think you'll find, General, that the British forces played their role to perfection. Perhaps you should look closer to home for the cause of the Operation's shortcomings. Now listen here, Clarence. It was your insistence on operational prudence that got us into this situation. Commander, where General Buckram and I do agree is that we must follow the Germans and make our way to the Calabria region of Italy as soon as possible. Yeah, this is just a tutorial how to do the uh, strategic map. The Germans are retreating north. We need to catch them, then hit them hard. Our advance force is leaving for Calabria, sir. Sir, we're sending an advance force to Calabria to lay the groundwork for the landings at Salerno and Taranto. The company will be under your direct command. You need a tank? You can't find anyone else? You can also address the camera by moving cursor to the edge, yada yada yada. Uh, movement, company is on the primary uh, control unit of Hey map, they can move, attack, start battles, ten, use the abilities. Um. Sit down, get to work! The men are doing the best they can, sir, but they'll need to rest before they can advance much further. Turn. The enemy left a supply emplacement up ahead. We need to take it out. Almost ready to go! Thanks. I know, the target's a moving. Hit them anyway! Turn. Commander, yeah, there's a key ready. town up ahead. Driver, Capturing it will free down. the local Italian people Our and push the Germans back. Capture it. Company's action point can be used to capture towns. Each town provides a unique benefit. For example, ports can purchase new companies and ships, increase the population cap to fill more units, and provide manpower. Fuel and munitions depot provides fuel and munitions, and hospitals can heal your companies. Cool. And the turn. Sir. Capturing Tropia will allow us to bring more troops ashore to solidify our hold so in Calabria. Where, that should uh, be our first priority. Commander, I appreciate Norton's love of ports, but I like to look at the bigger picture. Capturing Chittanova will keep the pressure on the Germans. We should head there first. We can get to Tropia later, Commander. Capturing Chittanova will let us keep hounding the crowds. That's what we're here for. So, this is where you get to make your own decisions on what to do on your uh, strategic map. And it'll give you... Uh, some of these will have... Uh, if... Uh, you can choose uh, which choice to do first. There are a few of these uh, little choices that you can do uh, scattered throughout the map. So, you can either attack Tropia first and gain some popularity and trust with the 
British commanders. Or you can attack Chitanova and make Buckram happy. I usually go for this one because it's got a uh, one shield on it, which is a lot easier to take. Other than Tropia, which has two, it'll take a lot longer to uh, capture. That's the right call, Commander. There is no right or wrong answers here. It's just whatever you want to do. And loyalty. Uh, decisions you make affect how others perceive you. Not following through on such decisions uh, can also have negative impacts on your relationships. So, you got Colonel Orton and Buckram. You haven't met her yet. So if you get his loyalty up, you get airborne reinforcements. So if you get his, you get increased movement range of all naval vessels. Get hers up, you get local relations, improves capture target ability at partisan hubs. Which we'll get to that in another episode. Advanced field landings adds a free B 25 Mitchell uh, bomber to airfields when you are captured. So, aircraft stuff, amphibious operations, and infantry stuff, local. End the turn. Oh, Remains, um, we're rising. don't end it yet. Uh, move up to here. Yeah, we're on it. Yeah, I notice that they will actually. Sir, we really should the revisit the plan to prioritize Chitanova. Sir, while no. Chitanova's strategic appeal is we'll under. Stay. Very well, sir. We're ready to move. Anyways, so uh, your units will use the roads whenever possible. You can also order them to go into the fields, but it will use up more of your uh, movement points. Just like in other Total War style games. Right, what's civilization. the word? Right. You've got go your target! Now bloody hitching! You have to attack it twice. Break down the defenses. The damn Krauts aren't gonna go quietly. We're gonna need more time to capture Chittanova. Command right, coming through! Again. I want all guns opening up! We got the city. Right. Nova is ours, Commander. And it's a turn. good first step on our road to victory. Good evening, Commander. Your up. troops are Engines a welcome sight. You've been getting tired of all that sauerkraut. Now that we've sated General Anchor, Buckram's thirst for territory, we should secure access to supplies by capturing Tropia. What's the altar? We've got orders! Suspension shot, but moving anyway. Mind the bump. Get range on that target, as you like! We have naval support on the way, sir. They may be able to speed up our capture of Tropia. Tropia, offshore artillery, and let's make sure we get that other supply. Make sure not to bomb your own people. That should clear out any lingering German forces. We should now use our company to capture Tropia. Got flogging a dead horse, but we're ready. Albert, open fire when ranged! Tropia is under our control, sir. The port will allow us to bring in more men and strengthen our grip on Calabria. Sir, we should put the port to use by requisitioning another company. We've got a new company on the way, sir. Once it arrives, we'll be able to continue our advance. We've got reports a German company is trailing just north of Pizzo, but we don't have their exact position. We need to find them before they can reinforce. The Germans are on the run, sir. 
We could go straight up the roads and hope we're faster, or we could transport right away, sir. Support, because it's actually kind Heads of cool. up, man. So you load up your guys into a city, and then you transport the company and place it where we want. But they want us to put it over here. And so, Ophelia's landing on the beach. There. We've got eyes on that enemy company, there and they're looking weak. Coming, we man. need to hit them now. We're ready for order. eager and willing. Shouldn't be a problem. Ready with the knives. Target the enemy, man! So, um, company on company battles. You can do auto resolve. Just make sure you do your strength comparisons. Make sure you all, you'll have a better chance of winning if you want to auto resolve. They want us to auto resolve because we have a better chance. They want us to get on with it. Um, but if you wanted to go head to head, you can do uh, start the battle and you can get better rewards. You can uh, redirect the outcome, stuff like that. Auto resolve. Auto resolve will simulate the battle and its outcome by play manually playing. You may receive less damage and earn a skill point from a bonus objective. The Germans are still retreating, Commander, but they're weak. We'll find them again, and when we do, that'll be the end of them. Also, promote them to different skills. So, with the uh, special there's a major forces. port up ahead, Commander. We should capture it and consolidate our forces before continuing our advance up the mainland. Anyways. What's our objective? So different companies have different uh, little abilities. So with these special forces, um, they automatically come with a recon uh, M29 diesel recon vehicle and the special uh, service uh, forces commandos here. You can also have them have an urban assault team or a towed anti tank gun. Or you can use the gun motor carriage, the uh, M16 MGMC. Or Riot rating players, stuff like that. You can also do upgrades, real time battle core up uh, upgrades, you can purchase munitions and stuff like that, real time support upgrades, like uh, rigorous training, uh, machine guns, smoke covers, stuff like that, medical support, purchase different units, like the uh, mortar team. A bulldozer, you can get a Hellcat, stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of something. So actually cool. well, you get you automatically get flamethrowers with that. Alright, and the turn. We only need one unit to hunt down that enemy company. Our other forces could do some good by securing those other towns. Yeah. Understood. Right, we'll send one company time. after the enemy troops. And use the rest to liberate nearby towns. All right, Take which one of you kids volunteered us to work? Order, sir. Forces to you. SSF, we're moving out. Uh, Awaiting orders. Uh, Taking our shot. There. We'll get it done. Took some damage. What's cool about Attention. this? Attention! Uh, once we get our action points. Yeah. Back. Check 
So what's cool about your army is that they right, also men, get upgrades, up. but you can't see it at the moment. There's some thick forest terrain tutorial. up ahead. We can use that to conceal our advance or stick to the roads for the fastest travel. Good news, sir. We've recovered a cache of supplies that was apparently abandoned by the Wait, retreating order, forces. Sir. Orders, sir? Right. Anyways. What's our objective? Since this is the tutorial, I'll show you what's here, but there is an ability that I think all the companies get is to heal their own company. Engines chugging along. Check your targets and open fire, uh, Cap! Charavail. There they are. Can I spawn them from here? Yes, I can. All right, Sir, the men have spent significant time in enemy territory. Supplies are stretched thin. Capturing Catanzaro would expand our supply network, allowing our companies to move further and stay in enemy territory longer. There's all that. Walk in the park because there's... Wounded. SSF, you've got order. Company supply. Uh, supply replenishes by 30 per turn in friendly territory and increases by 10 in enemies. Capturing supply points increases your max supply for all companies. Increasing max supply also increases your resource caps. Each point of supply increases your movement range and company strength throughout a resolve. At zero supplies, companies will suffer damage every turn. Pay attention! Alright. Armor's ready to go. Hey, we've got a move check. What's up, man? Let's see if your training took. Got a dead horse. We're ready. You've got your target. Commander, it looks like your people could do with a hand. We'll be right there. Hey. Captured Captain Zero. That's Captain Zero Captain captured. Zero. The enemy is on the run, but there's no way we could catch up to the entire German army like this. Hold tight at Captain Zero so our reserves can catch up. We're planning further landing operations up north at Salerno and Taranto to cut off Taranto. the retreating Axis forces. Is your introduction? No, it's not. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, that is your introduction to the uh, strategic campaign portion. Go ahead and do the first portion of this. We'll end it here. All right. So we'll end it here. Um, so this is your starting uh, company that you will use when uh, starting up the solar portion of the campaign. Uh, so you can choose the special forces, which you saw, which we were doing. You got the airborne. If you take over the airfields and buy a, uh, a Douglas, you'll be able to airdrop your guys into enemy territory. Or you got the artillery company. Uh, it's an army unit excelling in anti-infantry combat access to the garage ability. They can also provide UK in the army artillery support on the campaign. Um, so in my single player campaign, I'm with US Airborne. We'll go with Special Forces. 
My men are standing by, Commander. Let's hit those Germans where it hurts and get ourselves to Rome. Our first goal should be to capture Salerno. The port will provide a strong logistical foundation for a measured advance into Italy. We'll need the port, but don't take your eyes off the prize, Norton. We need to push forward while the Krauts are on the defensive. Commander, patience is a virtue. We must ensure our supply lines are robust enough to support General Buckram's quest for glory. Don't worry, Commander. Get me enough airfields, and we'll be in Rome before Norton runs out of his precious supplies. We're approaching Salerno, sir. The port will be crucial in establishing our presence on the mainland. I recommend a troop landing. It will give us the element of surprise. That's horseshit, Clarence. The damn crowds have been targeting our convoy since we left Sicily. Let the Navy do their thing and soften up the defenses before we send the boys in. How so should we proceed, a different, sir? Uh, talking portion. Uh, it's a different. Uh, yeah. So if you choose the airborne, there'll be a different conversation between Norton and Buckram and yourself versus the one that we chose. It's kind of cool. Uh, so we can start with the bombardment or we can start the landing, but our guys will be pinned on the beach with this uh, bunker here. So we can start with the bombardment. That's the right call, Commander. Fire when you're ready, and we'll give those Germans a wake-up call they won't forget. Take out that. I can do that. All ships, open fire! All right, Clarence. Okay. We've softened them up for you. Close in, man. You know what to do. Hey, C forty seven by this. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So, when I was playing last, it gave you a scout plane instead. Huh. Alright, anyways, so we're gonna end it here. And the next episode, we'll take on Salerno and start moving up on the actual campaign map. And the campaign map is actually quite big. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I actually am really enjoying this new style of gameplay for Company Heroes. It's actually really cool. I do wish it was co-op, so you can have your guys on one side of the uh, map, and then your your friend coming up on the eastern coast, taking out stuff, kind of like in regular Total War, where you can do several different factions and do simultaneous turns. It's yeah. But anyways. If y'all enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, hit that bell for more Company Heroes and other awesome games. Uh, subscribe for more if you want to. It's not mandatory. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Ciao.